Hello together, today I'm gonna show you a video from my Xen client which is now running also the Chromos or Chromiomos, however you want to call this uh, operating system designed uh, by, by Google. So why do I say designed and not uh, uh, something else? Because if you have a look at the boot menu it's nothing else than an OpenSUSE which is running Chromium browser uh, in which you get access to the online platform from Google where they are offering you the, the uh, word processing programs and the calendar and access to your emails so the thing is that the thing about it is that if your laptop gets stolen or is damaged you just get a new laptop, laptop and all your files and data and calendar and emails are saved online so Basically, this is just the Linux machine, which comes with a live CD, and this live CD includes an installer. And this installer can, as the name say, <laughs> says, uh, install you the Linux machine on your desktop or on your virtual machine in this case. So I already prepared my Chromium OS. As you see, uh, it's nothing else than the browser. It's coming with the tabs in the top here. The first tab is always Chromos, which regards to getchrome.eu or getchrome.com, uh, depending on the language settings you, you choose at the installation. Uh, I chose German because I speak German, so you can see here uh, he's asking if he shall translate it for me. I already prepared my account, so if I click on calendar, there is my private calendar uh, for for this machine. I have no entries done yet, so I just back to to the Chromos start page. You have the YouTube channel. I just click uh, a video, the annoying orange, and as you can hear in a second, I hope. Also, the sound card is working, and the video, and in this machine are no Xen tools installed, so you don't need parameterized uh, drivers for these machines because it's basically a Linux machine. Uh, I did not install any other stuff in the machine. Just after the installation finished, I chose to run the update for the for the SUSEOS and. This was all I, I've done until this point now. So um, I also show you again if I swap with Control and Zero, I'm in the in the DOM Zero in my Xen client, and if I switch back to my virtual machine, I still can use it and open tabs and work with it because uh, in the past there were some several virtual machines which are not supported, uh, which have have crashed after this. Yeah, okay, so a follow-up to this uh, will come up for how the installation works because if you just download the ISO and start it the, the menu will hang up or you can't boot it and I'm gonna show you what to do. So, see you in the next video. Bye!